action. Now, please be very attentive with this one. We are going to learn some new terms here. Why? Because I've seen it in sample papers that directly use these terms. And if you don't know, then you don't know. OK? All right. The first term is a centroid. But before we learn what is a centroid, we should know what is a median. So are you aware of the term median? Let's draw any triangle. Now, what is a median? A median is a line that joins the midpoint of one side to the vertex. Like, OK. Now, the point where the medians intersect is called as the centroid. OK, so please remember, what is a median? OK, so a centroid is formed with intersection of medians. All right. Another interesting thing, if you look here, so let's say you make a cardboard shaped triangle. You want to balance it on the tip of a pencil. The center of gravity would be given to you with this point, centroid. OK, so the centroid will give you the center of the gravity of this point, And you can try it. It would be a fun activity to do. All right, next we talk about a circumcircle. But before we talk about a circumcircle, I want you to know this term, perpendicular bisector. Now, what is a perpendicular bisector? So let's say we have a line AB. OK, if we, for AB, what do we do is, if we take more than half of the radius, make a draw, uh, draw an arc up and down, and repeat the same from here and here. What do we get? We get a 90 degree, and this point divides it into two equal parts. This is called as a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular because it makes 90 degree, bisector because it divides it into two equal parts. So for all the three sides, if we draw, what do we draw? The perpendicular bisectors, they will intersect at a point which we call as the circumcenter. Now look at this word circum. It comes from the circle circumference. OK, why is it so? Now, this point here will be equidistant from the three vertices. These three would be equal. And you take any one of them as the radius and draw a circle, it will pass through the three vertices of the so of the triangle. Hence, it is called as a circumcenter. The opposite of a circumcenter would be an incenter. So here, observe how the circle surrounds the triangle, touching it at all the three vertexes. Here, 